Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to send the character creator 3 avatars, what we call CC3 avatar, to Unreal Engine 4 to make it become the character in the game, to make her become the main character that, that you can play in the game. Alright. First thing what you need to do is you go and install Unreal Engine 4.25. The version is 4.25, not the latest version. Latest version so far is 4.26. So to support the iClone Unreal Life link, I suggest you go and install the 4.25. If you cannot find it here, you can go to your library. The engine version, you click plus. Then you should be able to pop out a 4.25 and you go and install this. Next, what you are going to do is you go to download the iClone Unreal Life link. This is a free download link that I show you in the link. You just need to scroll down to the bottom, check your video description in this YouTube video and click to this link. This is the Realution official site to download the Unreal Life link. As demo, I will go in as well. I open my browser and paste it here. Alright, for this free download, this is for indie license. You need to scroll down until you can see this. Free plugin for indies. This is the Unreal Life link. You log in to request it. Request from Realusion and it, they will send you an email and let you to download the free version of Unreal Life Link. Alright, next what you are going to do is go and download the auto setup for Unreal Engine 4. Okay, once you already download the Unreal Life Link, you, it, it will download as an installer. You just need to double click and install into your computer. Next is the auto setup for Unreal Engine 4. I also provide you the free download link here. You need to go to the video description and click into this hyperlink. I will show you here as well. This is the auto setup for Unreal Engine 4 for your characters and assets. You just need to scroll down and you can see the version 1.11. Just click download. After you click download, it will download as an installer as well. You need to double click the installer and also install into your computer. Next, once you already finish install both of them, the Unreal Life link and auto setup, after installations, you need to go to this location, this folder location, I can direct copy here, Control C to copy. This is your file explorer, you can right click and click your file explorer. Then click here, Control V to paste and enter. Now you can see, this is the share plugin folder. This is the, the locations. First, just to open this folder. Next. I assume that your Unreal Engine already finished install and that is version 4.25. After finish design your avatar in CC3, just be hold on, launch your Unreal Engine and open your iClone as well. The Unreal Engine live link should be already here. If you, if you already download and install the Unreal Life link, this is like a plugin. Alright, so before that, you need to launch the Unreal Engine 4.25. Just need to click and launch first. As demo, I will create a new game. And just wait for a while. Now the Unreal Editor is activating.
All right. Now you can see it popped out already. Select or create a new project. Of course, create a new game. Click next. As demo, I will just choose third person. Third person so that you can see your character. Next. Then as demo, I will just name it as CC3 to Unreal 2.5. To Unreal 2.5, um, it not allow me to type a full stop. Unreal 2.5 demo 01. So I will create this project, and this is my project name. The location is at at D. My file document Unreal project. This is the location. All right. Remember this location as well. I copy this location in my file explorer. I open it first. Right click and click the file explorer. I open it to standby. Control B to paste and enter. These are my other projects, other game projects. So now I'm going to create this. So you can see the folder is already there because of I already pressed it. Now it is creating everything. While waiting for that, now it's 80, it is 91% already. Right now everything, everything are ready. First thing, what you need to do is close this immediately. But you can see you already opened this folder. Next, what are you going to do? Just now your share plugin folder. Still remember the share plugin folder. You can see your auto setup. Open your auto setup folder. And copy the 4.25, the auto setup 1.1 for Unreal 4.25. Okay, copy these two folders into your game project directory. So control C to copy and paste here, control V. Next, back and back again and back again. Next is the Unreal Live Link for Un the Icon Live Link for Unreal. Sorry. So select the four point two five as well. Copy the plugin folder. Control C to copy and then paste into here. Control V. Now you can see under the plugin folder you already have the auto setup and Realusion Live Link here. Means you already install both of the plugin into your game project next back to your epic like epic games launcher you should be able to see this again the launch which one you want to launch of course is 4.25 by the way you can click your library and check your check your file which one is the latest one should be this one you check the project name CC3 to Unreal 2.5 Demo 01 be This one is my project and the version is 4.25 The rest of the projects, some I, I was using 4.26 but it's not related to this tutorial So I'm going to enter this again just by double click it Sometimes if your computer is slow after this finish until 100% it will disappear, you don't double click again. Just be patient. It is loading. Now, it is in here already. Next. I assume that you already designed an avatar in your CC3. Now, it's your time to export this avatar and import into your Unreal Engine 4. 
So how to export first? Just need to follow step by step here. Look, this is CC3. First thing, what you need to do is delete the weight map. Press Q, select the hair. Next, you click the physics. Click the weight map. Then you can see this is the weight map. You already select it. Select the weight map and then you click delete. Next is address. Also do the same. Double click the dress to select it and click the physics. Click the weight map. And select the weight map and delete it. This is very difficult to explain but if you don't delete the, the weight map, when, it, when you load this avatar into the game environment, that will be make your life difficult. All the hairs and the dress We'll just, just mess around sometimes. But for me, because of I just want to create a simple game, I no need such of the weight maps and gravitation. As long as the character can move and all of the dress and the hair already have the skin weight, then that is okay already. Because we don't want too complicated in our game. Next, you click here. Alright, I already convert this avatar to become the game avatar. If you not yet, please click here and when you see like something like convert for game, some some of the keyword like that, you click it to make it become a game avatar so that it will be easier for your game. Now you can see all my texture already this, all the skin texture already combined to become just one. Alright, now you must make sure your iClone already opens. And what should you do? Click this. Send your avatar to iClone. Now you load this avatar into iClone. Next, what are you going to do is Okay, I, I try to click play and make sure there's no hair physics and the dress physics, no weights at all. Now, it's fine already, next. Click the plugins, Unreal Life link, and open the Unreal Life link. In your Unreal Engine, you should be able to see the CC setup and Icon Life link setup. You must make sure these two are already here. If it is, it is not here, then what should you do? You should go to Edit and Plugin. And then make sure that make sure that you already install, you already activate it. Activate the plugin for LiveLink. You can check my notes. This is a short notes in the video description. First you you need to search and activate the live link that is under built-in. Built-in is here. Then here you search live link and make sure you activate it already. Next one, search under the project. Okay, where is the project? The project is somewhere Okay, the project is not here But what you need to make sure that is These two need to be exist here If not, then you have to double check it The icon live link Search for that The built-in is not here, install here. Make sure you enable it. Make sure you already enable it. That's all. This too is very important. Next, this is the main avatar, the main character in your game project. Next, what you need to do is make sure you deselect everything. Make sure you don't take anything. Clear everything. Make sure no ticks at all. 
and then you check your, check your avatar. This is your avatar. The avatar name is CC3 Base Plus. Of course, you can rename this avatar. I will rename it by clicking the scenes. Rename at here. I right click. Sorry, F2. Click here and press F2. I'm going to name this avatar as as demo. I will just name her as Jolin. Jolin CC3. Okay, this is my avatar name now. At the same time, check your Unreal Life link. It also rename already. Make sure you tick Jolin CC3. Then you click Transfer Files. Now it's your time to back to your Unreal Engine and wait for the loading because you, you are really importing something by using the Unreal Life link, you are transferring it. So this one will be pop up. This is the cmd.exe for Unreal Engine. Just, just be patient and wait for a while. Wait until it finish. This one, not now. Dismiss. All right, where is it? It is not finished yet. Later, you should be able to see under your content folder, you should be able to see a RL. RL is for Reolution. You will create a new folder here. But for now, just wait for a while. It is not yet finished. You have to wait. All right, so start from now, you can see there will be a new avatar here. So you just need to click it and delete it. We don't want this to be here. Next, what should you do? So we, we just check the step by step, which one we already done. Okay, from just now you already installed the Unreal Life link and auto setup as well. After installation, you already install the plugin as well. Finish everything, all this already set up. Activate the plugins, yes, already set up. And you, you already designed an avatar in CC3 with hair, cloth, shoes, and accessory, etc. Next, you already delete all the web map for the hair, cloth, shoes, and accessory. Now, you already sent your avatar to Icon 7 and also already transferred to your Unreal Engine. We already settled all these parts. So now just left at the bottom, now already in your Unreal Engine everything. First, you want to make your original avatar to be a humanoid. First, you must search your original avatar. This is under content folder. I already give you all these short notes. You just need to follow. The content folder is here. Next is mannequin, character, mesh. It is under these locations. Next, you can see a skeleton here. That is the mannequin skeleton. What you need to do, you need to double click it. And make sure you click the retarget manager to make sure the retarget manager tab is, is here. Now you can see you have two tabs here. What you need to do is you need to select a rig for your original avatar. Select the humanoid rig. This is a human. Next, save it. Then close. All right, so you already finished this step. Make your original avatar to be a humanoid. 
Next is retarget your third person animation blueprint. So what are you going to search? You should search this one, third, third person's animation blueprint. Search under the content. Click the content, make sure, make sure it is under your content folder, not in the sub folder. And you search third person's animation blueprint. Control C to copy and I paste here to get the search result. Now you can see third person animation blueprint. Next, what should you do? Right click and retarget and duplicate. So it's very simple. Right click, retarget and duplicate. This is just a, a step. Now you can see your Jolin CC3 skeleton is, is here. Click here. Then click retarget. Next step, rename your new animation blueprint. Your new animation blueprint will automatically appear here. Rename by adding the CC3 to Unreal. This is underscore CC3 to Unreal. We are going to rename this by adding CC3 to Unreal at behind. So I click this one, F2 to rename and I press, press right buttons, right arrow buttons, then I control V to paste. Now, it already renamed to third person animation blueprint CC3 to Unreal. Next, it is the final step, change your third person character. You need to search this from your content as well. Third person character, I copy these three words, Control C to copy, and make sure it's under the content folder. Click the search content and Control V to paste here. You should be able to see third person character. What should you do? You double click it. After that, Click the viewports, click mesh, and here, skeletal mesh, you should change to the jawlines. Now you can see, it already turned your default avatar to become jawlines. And animation class, you should choose the one that you already renamed, third person animation blueprint underscore CC3 to Unreal. This is what you had renamed just now. Alright, now you can see the main character already become, become Jolene. Make sure you save this. File save. And now you can close. You can see your game avatar already become Jolene. And Jolene is the, the avatar that I just designed from CC3 and sent to Unreal Engine by using the iClone Unreal Live link. So now at here, I can just test play this game. I, I press play. And now I can use use the game control that is WSAD keys to control this avatar. So now you can see this avatar is fully controlled by using the keyboard. So now, now this is already success. Alright, that's all for today about how to export the CC3 avatar from CC3 to Unreal Engine 4 to create your game avatar. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and at the same time, you can turn on the mini bell and select all. So that when next time I, pu I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy and happy animation.